When we're looking at Van Avermaet's bike, it is pretty clear, isn't it, that there is really only one thing that we can talk about, and that is the paintwork. So, since his victory in Rio, he has got gold frame and gold forks from BMC, and it's all painted. You've got embossed logos everywhere. You've got the Olympic colours on the top tube. Still a nod to the team's colours. You've got black and red on the top tube too, so keeping a little bit of team theme, but this bike is an absolute stunner. And hard earn as well, but I mean, just, just look at it. Once you can tear your eyes away from the paintwork here, let's take a look at the component choice. So Van Avermaet goes for a Physique Antara saddle. That has some custom gold touches, which I think very cool, classy, fit with the general feel of the bike. Bottle cages and bottles are supplied by Elite, and Van Avermaet doesn't have custom bottle cages, unlike fellow Olympic gold medalist Elia Viviani, but he does have Elite's Cannibal bottle cages. I think they're named Cannibal after Eddie Merckx. Very cool. Moving forward from the saddle and the seat post, we've got a 3T ARX stem and 3T Rotundo Pro handlebars. The Rotundo Pro handlebars are 3T's round drop model, so traditional is what they're called sometimes, favoured by many Belgian classic riders like Van Avermaet. And they're carbon fibre, so Van Avermaet remains one of the few riders in the Pro Peloton to be using carbon fibre bars over aluminium handlebars. Shifting, braking, wheels and pedalling are all taken care of by Shimano. So Van Avermaet has Shimano Dura Ace Di2 brake and shift levers. He's got Shimano Durace Di2 sprint levers. They're placed quite high on the bar. Good for changing gear when he's really nailing it in the drops or at the saddle sprinting. Moving back from there, got a Durace Di2 front mech and a Durace Di2 rear mech. Durace cassette, that's an 11 through to 28. We have got a Durace chain set with 53 39 chain rings and an SRM power meter and Durace pedals, probably perhaps the most used pedal in the Pro Peloton. Van Avermaet's wheels are Shimano Dura Ace C50 and the brakes are Dura Ace 2. Interesting note on the brakes is that you'll see the quick release on the brakes is fully released. And although this isn't going to be too much of an issue here in Abu Dhabi where it's 30 degrees plus, what it means is on wet gritty days in Europe when the brake pads are really wearing down, the riders start with them fully released with full brake pads and as the race progresses, the rider themselves can kind of tune the quick release down a bit and keep the pads as close to the rim as they always were and just maintain good brake feel over a 200 to 200 kilometer plus race. So interesting pro tip, but probably one for longer events or sporties if you're riding them and only if you have full brake pads. With that covered, all that leaves is the tires. And these are Continental Competition Pro ALX 25 millimeter tires. So you can only get Competition Pro Limited tires if, believe it or not, you are a professional cyclist. Van Avermaet's a professional cyclist. That's why he's got them. Before we get fully into Van Avermaet's bike's vital statistics. There is one last gold touch that I forgot to mention, and that is his SRM PC8 power meter, which is also gold and also very cool. And you can also only get if you win an Olympic gold medal, which makes it even, even cooler. Right then, time for the measurements. Van Avermaet's bike weighs in at 7.135 kilograms. It's actually super light for a bike with this sort of paint job, because fancy paint jobs like this do add quite a lot of weight. And it's only 335 grams above the UCI's lower bike weight limit. His reach is 60 centimetres, and an interesting one here is that his bars are 44 centimetres wide. Increasingly, we've seen guys go for narrower bars because they're more aerodynamic, but 44 centimetre wide bars are perhaps slightly better for bike handling, and also maybe Van Avermaet just finds them more comfortable, and perhaps he values comfort over aero in this situation. His saddle height is around 77 centimetres. Finally, the really nerdy one, the tyre width. Both tyres are marked up as 25 millimetres by Continental, and the front one comes in at 23.87 millimetres, and the rear one, 24.97. There we have it, an all gold bike. Absolutely stunning. If you like this bike, do hit thumbs up, and why not share it too? We're filming this bike over at the Abu Dhabi Tour, and to check out more videos from the race, just click right there, where you can get through to our playlist. Also, we do a lot of pro bikes here at GCN, and if you'd like to see all of those, our Pro Bike playlist is right there. Finally, subscribe, click on the GCN logo, which might be somewhere over my sweaty face.